Welcome to my minimalistic PC VR setup in 2023. Today in this video, I'm gonna just walk you through my setup and talk about how I indulge in VR gaming. Do me a favor, y'all. If you guys liked the video, make sure to drop a like and comment down below what system you're running your VR games in. I'm really interested to know what type of systems we have out there to support VR gaming. Without saying much more, let's get right into the video. It's your boy, The Virtual Gangster. A little bit of context. I got into VR gaming right around Christmas of 2020. I remember getting my Oculus Quest 2 as a present, opening it up and feeling ecstatic, like I was a little kid again. But we're not gonna get into that because it's, it's really not about me. Um, for those of you who know, there's kind of a lot going on in the world in 2020. You couldn't get the new graphics cards. You couldn't get a PS5. You couldn't get a used car, just like the chip shortage. There's a whole bunch of shit going on. So luckily for me, I had purchased a gaming laptop the previous summer um, after my internships because I had a little bit of extra money. And it's actually this laptop right here. So this laptop is the Asus ROG SCAR 17 laptop. It has a 2080 Super and a Intel i9 10980HK CPU. So originally when I had got my Oculus Quest 2, I kind of played it standalone. Then I kind of started getting a little bit more serious about VR and I went and purchased the link cable. So those of you who may be wondering, why did you purchase a gaming laptop? I previously had built a gaming desktop in 2019. It has a 2080 Ti and an i9 9900K. So once I got the link cable from my Oculus Quest 2, I started playing PC VR games on my desktop and this laptop kind of just collected dust. It was just, it's almost for like decoration. But then I had the bright idea, considering my circumstances where we were transitioning between in-person school and online school, this was right around my senior year, to use the laptop because it's more portable. So the whole idea with the Quest 2 is it's a standalone device, it's portable. Well, with the link cable, now I can bring my laptop anywhere along with my headset and have a fully fledged PC VR system. So that's what I did. I kind of transitioned more into this laptop being my main setup. So now I do everything on this laptop. I video edit and I play VR on this laptop. So let's get right into the meat and potatoes of this video. What is the minimum graphics card that you need to get into VR gaming in 2023? I'm gonna divide y'all into two groups of people. People who have previously built rigs and people who are just getting into PC gaming. If you don't have an existing system, in my personal opinion, I think you should not go older than the 2060 Super graphics card. I think the 2060 Super is the bare minimum that you need to game comfortably in VR. Now, for those of you who have previously built rigs, I am confident that there are ways to optimize your rigs where you don't have to build a complete new setup to get into the VR gaming. You can upgrade your memory, upgrade your CPU. I know that for CPUs, it tends to be a bottleneck for VR gaming or pretty much any gaming for that matter. So yeah, the 2060 Super, don't go older than that. You can find them brand new for less than $300 or as a matter of fact, you can even get a 3050 if you want the newer generation graphics card for around, right around the same price. And I think the 2060 Super might actually perform better than the 3050, but I'm no expert. So, so yeah. And that brings me back to another point. You don't need the latest and greatest. At this point, I am gaming on a two generation old graphics card and I am doing just fine. I'm able to edit my videos in 4K. I'm able to game very comfortably in VR. Now, just a caveat, most of the games that I play <clears throat> are FPS games. And so when I play those games, I tend to sacrifice graphical quality for more frames, just so I have that competitive edge. And I actually dropped a video analyzing the effects of graphical presets in Bone Labs on my system performance. So these developers implement systems to, you know, best optimize and, you know, accommodate a wide array of systems and their performances. So that there's always ways to get around you not having the best performing system. So at the end of the day, don't have FOMO. Like that's, we, we don't really do that over here. And, and if you do have FOMO, just get your money up, get your money up and get you a new rig. I mean, that's, it's just that simple. If you ain't got the bread, just humble yourself, humble yourself and make do with what you have. Cause the virtual gangster is very humble. And although I could go get the newest 
graphics card and go build a new PC. Nah, I'm gonna just make do with what I have because I'm just real hum humble. I'm just real humble when it comes to all this. And I don't do all that pocket watch and stuff either. So yeah, so yeah, that's my PC VR setup in 2023 and my opinion on the whole thing. At the end of the day, just make do with what you have. Uh, it, the, the, in this economy, man, like just just make do with what you have. Like I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like it's really not that you you're you're not some. You, this is not uh, for most people. This is not like their 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 main source of income. You don't need to really invest all that all those funds into into the best equipment. If you got it, great. But if not, there are ways there are ways you can still enjoy VR uh, with your setup. So yeah, with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and please subscribe to The Virtual Gangster on YouTube. You know, there's a subscribe button somewhere down there. Somewhere down there. Down there with your GTX 970 trying to came in for you. Bro, hey, get your money up, not your funny up, bro. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna see y'all later.